All right, good evening, everyone. I'm here again um, to worship God for some minutes. Um, I'll be glad if we can do this together, as always. I'd like to read from Job chapter 26, from verse 7. The Bible says, God stretches the northern sky over empty space and hangs the earth on nothing. He wraps the rain in his thick clouds and the clouds don't burst with the weight. He covers the face of the moon, shrouding it with his clouds. He created the horizon when he separated the waters. He set the boundary between day and night. The foundations of heaven tremble. They shudder at his rebuke. By his power, the sea grew calm. By his kill, he crushed the great sea monster. His spirit made the heavens beautiful and his power pierced the gliding serpent. These are just the beginning of all that he does. Hallelujah. Merely a whisper of his power. Who then can comprehend the thunder of his power? Hallelujah. I'll take the last part again. It says, these are just the beginning of all that he does. <laughs> Merely a whisper of his power. Now, everything we read from Job chapter 26, from verse 7 to about verse 11, they are just a mere whisper of his power. Who then can comprehend the thunder of his power? Hallelujah. So, um, this gets me thinking, uh, what a great and mighty God we serve. Um, uh, sometimes we get so worried about things happening around us. We get so worried about situations, about problems, about challenges, and we forget how great and mighty our God is, how amazingly great He is. I'll be doing these uh, songs this evening to worship Him for being a great God, and I hope you join me. You are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, it's a simple song, it says, you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh, hey, you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. You know, uh, this evening I was checking for what Yahweh means with my wife, and it's He's I am that I am. So if you need a healer in your life, God is your healer. If you need provisions in your life, He can be your provider. If you need guidance, He can be your guide. Oh, you are Yahweh. You are 
Remember, no situation is greater than our God. What God cannot do, what God cannot do, does not exist.
Lion of Judah, Aguni Chemba, O Yeshua, Amashia, Lion of Judah, Aguni Chemba. All right, um, there's this thing about how Nigeria is not developed, how we don't have the best of medical facilities and um, a good healthcare system. But have you noticed most of these killing diseases and um, viruses? Um, they have nothing in Nigeria. Um, someone was saying, even when Corona came, some of us must have got it. But the power of God in you, at work in you, no shaking. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, there are battles God fight for us whether you are aware or not there are angels on standby on your case for your case on top of your matter hallelujah so it would make more sense if we acknowledge his greatness Yeshua Amashia Lion of Judah, hey. Agune Chimba, hey. Yeshua, Amasia, Lion of Judah, Alagaya Damanos, Agune Chimba. Yeshua Amashia Lion of Judah Aguni Chemba I think uh, Psalms 147 says um yeah he determines the number of the stars he gives to all of them their names Great is our Lord and abundant in power. His understanding is beyond measures. Now, I always say to myself, if he gives names to all these stars in the skies, then they must mean a lot to him. How much more you, how much more Olua Femi, Richard? You can also mention your name. How much more you? Um, the fact that you are alive, you can listen to this, you can see me, means a lot. It means God is interested in you. He has a lot he still needs to do with you. He has a lot he still needs to do in you. Um, there's this uh, other song I like to do. Um, it's a song I think um, you should know. Um, it's been on my mind um, throughout this week. Um, it says, Olorun to Lagbara, Ushubareri. I need help, small help with you right there. Okay, so God with all the powers, the powerful God, the all powerful God, here is your. What is Ushuba? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here is me giving you praise. Here is my thanksgiving. Um, it's just like saying your royal highness, your excellence. So, um, your supremacy. Uh, this is all saying the all-powerful God. We're acknowledging his supremacy. Oh, Lord, 
Oshu bare mare o hey hey Oshu bare mare o hey It's a simple song. It's just like that. That's all. So it's you, it's you, it's you saying, is you is saying or is you telling God that I am I I recognize your greatness. I acknowledge your supremacy. Uh, we're acknowledging him for who he is in our lives. So let's just do this song together and I pray God blesses us. Mm -hmm. that song till it makes meaning to you about what tomorrow holds and as a child of God that should not be your stand uh, when I said you're not in charge of your life God is in charge of everything so the moment you said I surrender my life to God you surrendered everything to him including your situations including your burdens including your problems yeah, so when you say, that is a 
that is you acknowledging God that is in charge of your life. And God cannot be in charge of something and it goes wrong. That is you reminding him that he is in charge of your life and everything needs to come to place. Everything needs to fall in order. I pray as you step into a new week, it will be a week of blessing for you. And you will not forget, you will always be conscious that God is with you. Every step, every move you make. Oh, Hallelujah. So thank you for joining tonight. Uh, Deborah, I see you. David, Amara London, God bless you. Um, I hope we'll do this next weekend again. And as you step into this new week, just do it with praise, do it with a heart of a heart of gratitude, a heart of of thanksgiving. Um, I pray the week holds great and mighty testimonies for all of us in Jesus' name. Good night. I love you.